Hi, in this video we will see how to make a wireless control robot without microcontroller. Uh, for this uh, we need components like, uh, so see here, uh, two motors and uh, two wheels, uh, caster wheel and uh, chassis and a breadboard and you need some uh, spacers and screws. So I pre-assembled this one. Uh, you have to assemble like this so you can use any chassis or any type of motor you like so it should be look like this see uh, this is a RF receiver and this is a decoder so you can uh, buy this in any electronic shop this is readily available you don't need to solder and this is called a RF emitter so see here uh, this is called RF emitter and this is a uh, encoder so this is also readily available so you can you have to buy it as a pack so one is a RF emitter and another one is RF receiver so this will look like this see here exactly <clears throat> and there are, uh, there are also uh, other type of RF uh, encoder and uh, decoder and our transmitter and receiver are available and this one is for controlling eight uh, digital IOs so you can see here these have eight pins so you can control eight uh, different type of uh, whatever appliance you want so I'm going to use uh, particularly this one I need only four pins using this type uh, this is a uh, L293D uh, motor IC you can um, buy IC like this. Uh, this is not a uh, just a IC, so it has a board that is built around the IC, so you can easily uh, uh, insert the motor pins and uh, <coughs> signal pins to this. Let's see how to assemble this. So <coughs> I'm placing the receiver to the robo end and um, I'm placing this motor driver to the robo end The uh, place like this. So this is uh, um, this is our uh, receiver section, and this is uh, L293D motor driver. <coughs> Let's now connect the wires, motor wires. I have connected the motors so this is the motor wires I have connected to the output and uh, we have to connect the inputs that is uh, the inputs are from RF receiver to the uh, L23D motor section input First pin Second pin
third pin and the fourth pin So here you can see uh, most of the connection is over so we just need to uh, give the power supply to this I'm going to insert a power supply pin to the RF receiver section and um, joining with my battery clip placing this tool here Yeah, the connection is over. So the receiver end, uh, our robo end, is completed now. And we have to now move for the transmitter section. So this is how it will look. Let's see how to do the transmitter section. For this, uh, you need a breadboard. And this is a push button switch. Uh, you can see here it's uh, just a push button so you have to insert like this so here we need uh, four push buttons So we have uh, four push buttons here. So this push button has uh, two pins. One pin we have to connect to the five volt and another pin we have to connect to the transmitter section. Let's see how to do this. So here we have the transmitter section. Uh, we have four pins here. Uh, <clears throat> one, of, one end of the switch has to be connected to the uh, pins that is available in the transmitter section here I'm connecting the wires for the transmitter section So connected and uh, this switch, uh, uh, this connection, uh, this end has to be connected to the one uh, one pin, uh, one one side of the switch and as I said uh, another pin of the switch has to be connected to the 5 volt.
so see here i have connected the <coughs> one end of the push button to the transmitter mains and uh, the other end of the push button has to be connected to the 5 5 volt that is uh, to the battery so i'm going to connect the uh, this 5 volt and this 5 volt together so let's see how to do this <coughs> Um, gathering all the pins of the <clears throat> so uh, we have to connect the now this five volt has to be uh, connected with this then the whole circuit comes to complete so you can see here the full circuit has completed <clears throat> so one end of a wire that is connected to the positive five volt and uh, other end of the wire that is connected to the uh, transmitter section so this is a good uh, computer. Let's see how this works. Let's check how this works. Um, so the connection is completed here. I know this is a little bit awkward, uh, but when you're trying to do this, uh, give a little bit space uh, for the push buttons so that you can freely accessible to the switches there. So let's check the first button. Yeah, it's moving and I'm pressing the second button oh now third button and fourth button so when we push the uh, first two button together so the mo uh, robot moves in the forward action if you push the uh, third and fourth button together it moves in the reverse direction so if you push a uh, third button it comes right side if you push fourth button it comes on the left side <coughs> <coughs> 